My name is Millie. And my addiction, without a shadow of a doubt, would be flowers and plants. The plants are the main thing I have that make me happy. I feel like if it's pretty on the outside, nobody's gonna know what's on the inside. I'm Jessica, and I'm Millie's oldest daughter. When you walk in the side door, it's just packed. You can barely get in. You don't see chairs. You don't see, you know, a couch. We used to tease that it was the Adams Family House, because that's what it looked like. I do have some collections. I would describe my mom as being in denial. I feel that I have some really cool stuff. But I don't think she has any idea what's really in there. I am Chelsea, I'm 17 years old, and I'm the youngest daughter of Millie. My first memory of the house was running through, jumping over piles of clothes, and cans, and rubbish. I've said that my mom has chosen her junk over her kids and grandkids. Now I live with my grandpa in St. Clair Shores for almost a year now. I want my kids and my grandbabies. I want them here. I want them in my face. I feel like my mom has an excuse for everything. I mean, she's always said that. In order for me to move back to my mom's house, she has to want to change. I absolutely want my daughter to move back home. I would like to build a relationship with my mom again, but if my mom doesn't clean up her stuff, we're all done. I'm Dorothy Brenninger. I'm a professional organizing expert, and I specialize in hoarding. This family is pretending like there's no problem. But you know what? Underneath all of this is sizzling, seething, anger. You know, could you kind of be a little bit careful, please? I do have breakable stuff. <gasps> I'm Dr. Michael Tompkins. I'm a psychologist, and I specialize in the treatment of hoarding and OCD. I oh, will kill this. someone. As we started working right off the bat, actually, some of the people broke some things. I just feel like it's just like my kids just break the thing, and then it has to go. It's not just about a thing. I think she sees it as kind of an extension of herself. Because to them, it's all junk. It's not all junk. OK, team meeting outside right away. Even though it may look like junk to us, still treat it like it's something very important. She's out there right now digging through. OK, what's she digging through, the trash? Yeah. Millie is kind of hanging over at the trash. Nothing can go past me, because I really need to make sure nothing goes on the truck that's not trash. The pictures, is that the problem? What? No. That's one from you your just mom. go back and work on I don't want to stress you out, you're Mom. You're making it worse. Did I happen to mention nothing left the property today? I just want it to be better. I want you to be better. This is an opportunity. I understand that. I am older than you. Makes me mad. Like, what am I here for? Why am I cleaning your house? I'm not, I'm not your child. This is not how I wanted to start my morning. OK, sweet pea. You're still sorting in the trash. Not over there, but here. Either we commit to filling at least one truck by noon, or we need to put it all back. I have a friend coming to help me pick out certain things to make you happy to get rid of the rest of it. It's not to make me happy. I'd like you to have your daughter in this house. Well, absolutely. You 
CPUs, you say you have to keep them? Yes. All right. Are you keeping the lampshades? Yes. And is it you want to keep it or give it away? Yes, that is a happy light. Expired foods. Stop. I just want to see what it is. I know. We got stuck on some really old canned food. It's been on the porch for a year. By all means, I'll pull it out of the trash and let you save it and eat it. But I'm not done yet. Sewing machines. We've got 10 sewing machines here. Sewing shops don't have this many. These are not something I'm willing to give, not even one up. And when JoLynn presented the rock to Millie, she won't let go of this rock. No, JoLynn. You can't believe her sister can't throw out a rock. We have a situation. I'm ready to leave over a stupid rock. Too bad. It's a rock. It means nothing. It means something. OK, then get your ass out of here. Mom. That rock means more to you than your stinking sister. Cool. Listen, don't leave. We had a plan to come in and do over this entire house. Do you see how you're treating everybody else? This little piece stopped the whole process. Millie wouldn't get rid of it, and the whole family flipped out. I'm get out of here. I'm not like getting it. out of here. I'm going to go empty your room, because if you can't do it, somebody has to do I it for you. I said I would do it. And because we had this huge fiasco of a fight, Millie shut down. I'd like for you to try to get rid of as much as you possibly can anything at all that you can say, yes, Dorothy, I'll give it away. Yes. Good. Bring it on. So which one would you do? This metal one. Give me something else. I want you to be tough on yourself. Good job. Give me one lamp out of all these, if you can. guys have said a lot of hard things to each other, but today what we're trying to do is a day of healing to really try to bring you together. So, let's go. Okay. Through the front door! Oh, wow. Go on in. I was proud of my mom when we went in the house to see her face. I know that she felt good. It doesn't smell like the cat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. I went shopping in your backyard <laughs> for this makeover. It was amazing. Everything looked beautiful and organized. Oh, oh so nice. my goodness. It's so cute. We were so inspired to create a bedroom for Chelsea. Oh my gosh, that looks gorgeous. It looks very nice. I miss you guys. It's the first hug I've seen. When you get a hug like that from your mom, what's that like? I don't know, rare? It's rare. There was this moment in which I really think your daughters and your sister began to doubt whether you were willing to let go of more. And it all centered around this rock. This is an invitation to let people know you're willing to continue this journey by letting go of the rock. Give it away. Let it go. Throw it. Throw it. I really want this rock. And I do resent the behavior that was displayed yesterday. It was a major disappointment. To me, that really represents just how deep Millie is into her illness. Chelsea's 17. She's at the cusp of emancipating herself and moving out. But I think she needs a place to launch from, and that I think we provided. If Millie sticks with the aftercare, there is a possibility that Chelsea can have a normal life. She deserves it. 
Hi! Thanks for being a fan of Hoarders. And subscribe to a &E for more videos and click the links around me to watch more.